Um, thought we did a lot of things in the game that we really have been practicing the last three days. So I was uh, pleased with our guys. I uh, thought our defense got better the longer the game went. And, um, you know, offensively, we were better just in terms of taking care of the ball, moving the ball, uh, getting a little bit of ball reversal and uh, attacking it on the second side. So uh, just good for us because it's a lot of the things we've been practicing and it's, it's good to see that come to fruition this game. So uh, tough game with Yale on Sunday and uh, we need to rest up and get ready tomorrow. Uh I mean, you held them scoreless for the last eight minutes of the game. Talk about what you did defensively different, or has it just come together? Well, we mixed in some zone late. Um, they, they had really small lineups out there, uh, five small guys really at, at a couple periods, and so we just felt like it was the best way for us to match up. I thought our guys really communicated well uh, in the zone. I thought we rebounded great, and, and so we uh, didn't allow any second shots and, and did a pretty good job contesting. And so... Um, you know, again, I thought our defense in the second half was pretty good all the way through. And um, I think our guys at the beginning didn't quite realize these guys were going to shoot as many threes as we told them. And uh, we let Norman get going early. Uh, and just, you know, we did a better job the longer the game went of guarding the three. And having Clyde come back out, when did you know Clyde was coming back? And what was, he played 12 minutes today. Was yeah. that the expectation? Yeah, it was about 12, 15 minutes what we thought he'd play. He, uh, he's been practicing you know, all this week. Uh, so we kind of knew if the, the doctors okayed him yesterday that, that he would be a go. Um, and so we thought they would. So he's, he's kind of been getting some good reps here this week. Uh, I think it really helps just, number one, it limits Alamir Dawes' minutes. He doesn't need to be playing 35 minutes in a game. Uh, so that immediately helps that. But it also helps other guys like Curran Scott, who, who now can just focus on playing the two and, and not bounce around so much. We've got we've been bouncing so many different players in different spots that it's hard to have rhythm, um, and we can't do quite as many things as we would like, um, you know, efficiently. So um, just getting him back and having two guys that can handle the ball as point guards is really big for us. The short rest coming up with Yale on Sunday. Are you going to try to limit him more? Or are we expecting? No, he, he should be able to do. Um, similar things on, on Sunday. He should be able to play. And, uh, you know, we won't do much physically tomorrow. We'll, we'll meet a couple times and walk through some things and, and jog through a few things that we want to do in the game. But uh, tomorrow will be about, you know, mental preparation as, as much as physical and, and uh, getting our guys a little bit of rest and getting ready for a very good team. They're top 50 RPI. So uh, they've won six in a row, several of those games road games. So um, we know we have our hands full. Also, at Clyde, he, that first assist he had was just a great pass inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, is that just going to add a little spark to the team, you think? Well, I hope so. He's just, uh, Clyde does a good job of, you know, he, he's a smart player. He knows kind of what we're doing um, and what to look for. I think he, he gets to the second, third, and fourth option uh, in some situations a little better than our younger guards, um, and that's just experience. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that's, that's played some, point in the past, so he's comfortable there, and, and uh, his size helps to be able to see over defenders. Any more questions? Any update on um, Jonathan Bear, why he wasn't dressed out? Yeah, he, uh, we're waiting to see. He kind of tweaked it a little bit in a practice situation, so uh, we just didn't want to play him, um, and he's doubtful for Sunday also in the chase. You kind of mentioned earlier about having um, the luxury of having um, uh, Clyde back, just being able to balance that yeah. playing time between him and Dawes. Um, do you feel like um, having them together in the backcourt will help Dawes um, scoring wise? Yeah, I think it can just uh, settle him down a little. Um, and they can play together uh, a little bit. Um, you know, just having Clyde, who's going to be out on the court with him at times, but then is playing in the games, I think when they communicate in practice and when they communicate in the games, it's going to be easier for Al to, to just kind of have a positive relationship with him and probably a deeper, more meaningful relationship um, now that Clyde's going through a lot of the same things that he is. Um, you know, he, he needs to learn from Clyde because uh, Clyde knows, you know, what I like and has been here a couple years. So I think that'll really help those two guys.
Sims numbers were almost perfect tonight, scoring. When he's scoring that well, how does he impact the dynamic of the team? Well, he does a good job for us, and we need him to, um, both inside and out. I think his versatility is what makes him a really good player. He can he can make shots from the perimeter, but he can also score in a low post or drive it a little bit. Um, you know, and, and we try to move him around and play him in different places um, to highlight what he does well, depending on matchups. And so, uh, uh, yeah, his versatility is really important for us. And snapping the four-game losing streak tonight, mm -hmm. how does that help the team's confidence going forward? Yeah, just uh, yeah, this win felt good for us. I think we uh, we've put in some work the last couple of weeks and haven't been rewarded, um, and that's hard. You know, we've played a couple of good teams and we've played some road games. Uh, we've had to do a lot of different things in this stretch. Uh, you're managing finals. It's, there's been a lot of pressure on our guys. There's been a lot of travel. And, uh, you know, we just, it felt good to, to go in the locker room after a win and, and see the guys smile a little bit. And hopefully that, you know, helps us a little bit positive energy tomorrow and uh, carries over for Sunday. All good. Thank you all. Thank you.